Right then folks, we have joined the lower pass. That's a really good diversion. It was interesting to do another route, wasn't it? Yeah, normally I'd come down here, you see. Now I know, but I wouldn't go up that way. That is steeper. I'd go up around that way, but yeah. Learning more about my contacts all the time. What happens on this route? We come out right near the car park. So now we will come out at Holford Green and I'll be able to have my picnic and my tomato and my plowmans. I'm really looking forward to that. Having my plowmans, my pickled onions. Oh, well, you know, treat. Yeah, a little packet, a little picnic packet. It's called a plowmans. They're made up in near Wigan in Lancashire. And you get a little dairy lease triangle, you get two sort of crackers. That's the way down if you want to go to the coombe. But we won't do that. I don't want to go down to the coombe. I want to go straight to the green. Yes, yeah, you get two little crackers. You get the little triangular dairy lee and you get three little pickled onions and a little tiny spatula. Over now. We've done this side of the walk, this is the first half, and it's only about half past twelve. So it's about four hours of, of gentle walking and um, and a, a lot of the hill, a lot of hill on the first part. And a, and, and a nice gentle un stressed walk apart from thinking about being robbed and things like that. So you go past a little cottage here, nestled in the hillside. We're not far from the car park now. No, we're not far now, look. Almost like a rotunda, isn't it? Rotunda roof. it called again this place? Oh, Hair Nap Cottage, that's right. This is Hair Nap Cottage everyone. It's lovely isn't it? Snuggled into the side of the hill there. Hair Nap Cottage. And we go down this road and we'll be... This is when I've done this walk over at least six years. I, was, I would have been coming up here, or coming down, and my Alberta would be waiting for me. Yeah, comfort. You know what I mean? Comfort. Sit there and chill out for a little bit. It was lovely. It really was lovely. I knew the day would come. I always knew the day would come when I wouldn't have Alberta anymore. <sighs> yeah, I'll walk round. You can go up round that way. Now if you go down here, there's a path here. If you're over at Holford Green, you follow this path, it'll take you down to Holford Coombe, down there. But just beyond those trees is the car park. Um, I'll just video a bit more. This is where we have the picnic now and then we can have the lovely walk up through the coombe. Hopefully there aren't too many people. Um, then you get more people in the coombe in the heat to cool their feet and um, keep them in the shade of course. So I'm expecting more people than up on the tops. Now, don't forget, it's summer holidays, so you half expect there to be a lot of people about. Lots of children, picnics, that sort of thing. 
and they would go up the coo and bathe their feet in the water. That's what you do. But we'll just have to in enjoy their merriment as we pass them by. I'm glad I got my hat though. Oh dear. It was so good that I noticed it was missing early. I still had to go about 100 yards uphill facing the sun. So I knew I needed it. Otherwise I would have to use the other t-shirt to cover my head. Oh, here the car slam then. We're very close to the car park now. Now if it's packed over there on the green I won't be I won't be sitting there. I can hear lots of people. There's the car park and I used to park Alberta. Very close. In there where that van is. Now it looks to me as if if I get over quick enough I can pinch the bench before that bloke. Because he might go for that one. Folks, this is Alpha Green. I've had my picnic, I've had my plowman's lunch, my cracker, my dairy lee and my pickled onions. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've had a bit of cheese and tomato and I've kept some for later with the cheese that I've got. I've hardly got any chocolate or anything like that, I realised. <sighs> I've had a bounty earlier, so I did have some glucose and I've still got a couple of sweets in my pocket. But I've had a bag of nuts, that was really nice. Really healthy nuts as well. Anyway, here we go up. Up this part of the walk which will take us, you know, in about 20 minutes, half an hour. It will take us deep into the coombs. Uh, it wasn't packed. It might be packed down here with people having picnics. You won't know until I get down there, but at the moment it's quarter to one. Um, I can enjoy a whole leisurely walk, to be quite honest, because I've done it really. I've done it really well. I timed that really well with the buses and the train and that. Worked out really well. Some roses there. Pretty. And some grass on the roof. So we're leaving Hulford again. I had a nice quiet little picnic. It was very, very nice indeed. Watching a few old people. Well, they were, you know, packed right up with their rucksacks and their dog and their walking sticks and their hats on. It's nice to see. I don't know if many people do what I do. Get the bus, they might get the bus and, bus and train, I don't know. But it worked out for me. Suitable. Worked out. So. Anyway, if I don't go camping, I'll. Uh, leave it for another time. But I wouldn't mind doing two nights somewhere. Just to try the tent out really. I mean I haven't got a garden, I've got nowhere to try it out. So 
and not only that, I'd have to take like the heavier bag, I think, sleeping bag. I'm not sure. The tent alone is going to be heavier. And I'll still need my self inflatable mat and possibly a warmer jumper because it gets colder in the evenings. Ah, somebody coming. Okay, most people are coming with it. Hold on a minute.